Fensberry. I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks for formatting in a Google Sheet. So um, one of the first things I want to do is maybe change the font on my page here. So if I wanted to select everything on my sheet, all of the cells, right up here in this little blank square, if I click on that, it highlights everything. So therefore, I can kind of come up here and pick a, uh, a font that I want to use. So I'm just going to come down and I'm just going to pick Georgia. And it changes the font for my entire sheet, no matter what cell I go to. And then maybe I need things to be a little larger. So I'm going to do Georgia 12. All right, so now my data is a little bit easier to see on the screen. This is my header row. So what I'd like to do is make that stand out a little bit by highlighting it. And I'm going to make this bold. I also want to take and go over to my alignment. And I'm going to center that just so that it's a little easier for me to see. Now, what you can kind of notice around here is where I get the guidance counselor, this is kind of running over. So if I come over here to text wrapping and select the wrap text, it now puts that all right inside of the cell. No matter how large that cell is, it kind of makes it fit a little bit neater, easier to read. So some of the other things that we can do is kind of select multiple columns. So if I use my control key and hold that down, and let's say I want to adjust the size of building and grade, um, I can click on both of those. And if I kind of hover in between the columns and grab, when I resize one, the other will resize as well, both equally. I can also just want to come up here and make that center alignment so it's a little easier to read. Now, looking here where we have our guidance counselor's names, they are kind of running over the column. So if I just quickly hover between E and F and do a quick double click, it expands out all the way to where I can see all of the names clearly in my column. I'm going to do the same thing here where we have student names between A and B. Quick double click, and it expands out to where I need it to be. So one of the things I notice in my column B, my student ID, is our 12th graders are missing that zero, that leading zero on their ID number. So it's only showing six of the seven numbers. In order to make this appear, what I need to do is select column B. And I'm going to come up to format. And where it says number, I'm going to say plain text. We want to see it as text. Then I'm going to change the formatting for this by coming back to format, coming back to number, and I'm going to come all the way down to where it says more formats and custom format. So in my custom format, what I would like to do is type seven zeros because seven uh, is how long our student ID numbers are. And once I type all seven zeros, I'm going to click apply. And now you can see where that leading zero has been placed automatically in front of the student ID numbers. If I needed to add a, a few rows in here, instead of clicking and right clicking and saying insert one above and going in and doing it again, where I go click, right click, insert one above. If I know the number of rows I want to click in, let's say I want to add in three more rows. If I highlight three rows in my, in my spreadsheet, right click, it's going to automatically say, do I want to insert three rows above or three rows below? And that way you can do multiple rows at one time. So I'm going to just remove the same way. I can highlight, right click, and then I'm going to say I want to delete rows 7 to 11 and remove those spaces. So another way that I can make this a little bit easier to read is I can come in again, select all. And if I want to have like alternating colors on my screen, I'm going to go to format. I'm going to come down to alternating colors. And then I can select what style I want it to be. You know, maybe I want to do Pensberry orange. Just click on apply to arrange. Um, A through E. I'm going to come over to my borders. I want to box this out and I'm going to change the thickness of my border 
and it kind of makes that pop a little bit more. I can also adjust inside of the borders, my internal borders to show those as well. So if I wanted to start sorting my data by student last name, uh, right now that's hard to do because the name is just in one cell. A way I can kind of split this out is if I add a second column, I'm gonna right click column A, I'm gonna insert one to the right, and then I am going to click back on column A. I am going to click data and I am going to click split into columns. And here my little separator comes up. I'm going to click on that and I want to say space. And what that's done is broken it out by last name and first name. And I'm just going to reheader this as the last name. And I'm going to change this one to be first name. So if I want to sort my student data by last name, I'm going to highlight my sheet. I'm going to come over here and turn on the filter. I'm going to then come to the last name column, click the little slicer, and say sort A to Z. Now all of my students are in alphabetical order. Here I have a blank sheet. I needed to have the days uh, or the months of the year. I type in January. And if I select that cell and using this little block, come all the way over 12 different uh, columns, it's going to automatically fill in for me January through December. Same thing can happen if I need it the days of the week. If I put in Monday. And I start pulling down. I can come on down and have Monday through Sunday right in my sheet, jump up here. If I do one and then three, highlight both of those cells together, then pull that little box down, it's going to automatically give me my odd numbers. If I do the same thing with two and four, select both of those cells. Now I'm going to be able to pull it down. And again, it's giving me my even numbers. I can even count on by a uh, certain pattern. So if I put in a five and a 10, highlight both of those and then pull down, it's going to count on by fives. If I needed to total my columns, it's very easy to just go in and do insert function and I'm going to do sum and all I need to tell it is I want it to start here and I'm going to drag down to through the entire thing so in here my formula is it started at cell E3 and then at cell E9 if I hit enter it now totaled for me all of these numbers so the same thing can be done with an average I can come over here on my toolbar and can say average. And then again, I'm going to just highlight the data I want to take an average of, hit enter, and it gives me the average of all of the numbers in my column here. So that's just some quick and easy tips on how to get some data into your sheet quick and easily, hopefully between the formatting information that we share today and how to get some quick data in and use a few of those simple functions. Uh, you are ready to move forward with using Google Sheets. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.